Yeah, but basically on this one right here, right? You have like 100% mana pool, right? If you use Awakening, you get the buff. Initially, the buff will be like Magic Addiction because your mana is 100%, right? So when your mana goes under 30%, right? The, ma the Magic Addiction, the old buff, changes into Boundless MP. If the mana goes back to 100%, it changes back to Magic Addiction. The duration is permanent. It's not gonna be gone. That's why whenever you see like in KR people raid, they use Awakening at the start before they enter the raid itself. It's to activate this buff. That's basically how it is right there. So yeah, so yeah, forever, forever. I mean, like I don't know. Like uh, we can check this one, I guess. I don't know. Uh, a lot of people keep asking like, uh, how does Nightmare works or stuff like that. Not sure if it's just like translation typo, or people just can't read. But yeah. I don't know, we can read this one right here. So this is two set bonus. I know this one. This is a massive typo. I don't know why they haven't fixed that yet for a long time already, but it is what it is, I guess. So yeah, all it does is MP cost reduced by 50%. Damage of skill that consumes mana. So I don't know why it's like this right here. It's damage of the skill that consumes mana. Wait, consumed oh okay, consume MP is what uh is whatever. I don't know what autocorrect is this basically. Let me just like uh Make it closer, I guess. This one right here. So yeah, just like a skills that uses mana, increases damage by 12%. That means your awakening is not buffed. If you're a transform class, it's not buffed because it doesn't use mana. So there is that right there. Nightmare best set. Nightmare is one of the best set in Korea. Yes, it is the best. Well, in your case as well. But I mean, like, not everyone can use it because of this mana limitation. Not every class use mana. Overwork KR dev. I don't think it's dev though. It's translation, right? Isn't translation on Amazon? <laughs> So yeah, consume damage skills. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know why it's like that, but yeah, that's basically how it is. That's two piece. Four piece right here. When a class that possesses MP uses an awakening skill, gain magic addiction. When MP reaches 3% or lower, magic addiction is removed and boundless MP is gained. Okay, so they changed the name then. So yeah, when current MP becomes 100% while boundless MP is active, the effect, uh, the effect is removed and magic addiction is gained. Both effects cannot be active at the same time. So I don't know if people understand on this one. Like, this is clear enough to me, but then, like, I know how it works, so, yeah. Damage got between consume and E. <laughs> yeah, but basically, on this one right here, right, you have, like, 100% mana pool, right? If you use Awakening, you get the buff. Initially, the buff will be, like, Magic Addiction, because your mana is 100%, right? So, when your mana goes under 30%, right, the, ma the Magic Addiction, the old buff, changes into Boundless MP. If the mana goes back to 100%, it changes back to Magic Addiction. The duration is permanent. It's not gonna be gone. That's why whenever you see like in KR people raid, they use Awakening at the start before they enter the raid itself. It's to activate this buff. That's basically how it is right there. So yeah. So what it does basically when your mana is high, you get Magic Addiction. When, you, when your mana is low, you get Boundless MP. So yeah, and the effect is basically when your magic addiction right there, the damage is increased by 15%. This stacks multiplicatively with this, by the way. That's what makes like Nightmare really strong. And when using a skill that consumes MP, max MP is 7%. Now, your skill already have mana reduction from here. But now, every time you use a skill, it eats 7% of your max mana. Plus whatever mana that it used to eat, basically. So that's basically how it works. So your, your basic mana cost doesn't really matter, it's just like how many skills you use like back to back basically. If it goes slow enough, under 30%, changes to, changes to like boundless MP, and then instead of like having this like damage buff and the max MP cost, you now recover max MP, which is like, uh, this is pretty big by the way. People think this is not that big, but this is pretty big. You actually recover this really fast. So yeah, and the cooldown reduced by 20% and attack and move speed reduced by 12%. So yeah, this is an example of like, you know, what artillerist, swift artillerist and uh, piano sword uses right here. You use this buff right here. Some, uh, some classes focus on this buff. Some classes use on this boundless MP. So yeah, goes up and down. So yeah, it just like uh, changes. The 6 set effect is just like making it stronger. Damage to foes increase like by 15% with this one right here. And then when boundless MP is active, like uh, this is like 3%. Uh, like uh, more of this. Cooldown extra like 5%, uh, 15% as well. And 3% speed. It's just that. I mean like, that's just how like uh, the nightmare works to be honest. Like it's not really that big. But I guess like people are consumed because it's like a long text. And people can't even read about 
what's the name uh, X, uh, Express <laughs> so yeah that's so strong it is really strong this set is like the one that has the highest damage multiplier not salvation you might think salvation is stronger because the, the, the number is bigger but it's not nightmare is stronger because it's multi multiplicative on this one so yeah so even with Zerg, we use Awakening before the fight. Use Awakening before the fight or at the start of the fight. Your Awakening does not get buffed. Do keep in mind, this buff, the skill that uses MP. Your Awakening doesn't use MP. So your Awakening doesn't really do that much damage. So whether you use it uh, to the boss or outside of the boss, doesn't matter. What matters is you gain this buff before using any of your skill. So yeah, best set reflux yeah, for the piano reflux right there. So that means Nightmare sets in the day with increased mass attack speed reduction, yeah. Not really, not really, because attack speed reduction for increased mass is just a plain 10%. Speed caps out at 140%, so even if you have 140% speed, right, it's still gonna be 130% speed. Because your speed caps out, you know, it does, uh, your speed doesn't go to 150%, it doesn't. That's why mass increase is still bad, <laughs> in terms of like a uh, speed reduction. So yeah, we'll build a swift sword based on this, can't wait. Yeah, that's the piano sword right here using boundless MP. But you need six set. This set right here, this piece is not enough for like a uh, piano sword. You need this extra like 15% cooldown reduction. You need this. So yeah, that's basically how it is. Yeah. Use odd spell, get a Romana, get CDR, recover spell faster. The, uh, when spells are off CD, use odd spell with damage buff. You can do that, yeah. You can juggle it basically. We better they call it mana addiction state because this is the way it's it seems like a buff that expires. I mean, it is called magic addiction, so yeah. Well, whatever it's called doesn't matter because you you should read this, you know. You're gonna blame uh, you're gonna blame the developer, dude. Why did you type it, man? <laughs> should just like tell us what it does. <laughs> it's hundred percent out time, yeah. It doesn't expire. So yeah, what set that KR used now at sixteen hundred depends on like what class. So yeah, I think the confusion for most is the 7% max MP thing. There is three different things it could mean. Wait, what do you mean? When using a skill that consumes MP, max MP minus 7%. Oh wait, yeah, this is a weird wording actually. You're right. This is a weird wording. Yeah, this wording is what it means basically. Whenever you use uh, a skill that uh, eats mana, it eats an additional 7% of your max mana. So yeah, so if you use like let's say 10 skills back to back, it eats 70% of your mana already. So yeah, that's basically how it goes. It's great, but I think it's only for high swift mass and batting, button mashing class. Yeah, for the bottom one, yes. Not for the magic addiction. A lot of classes use this thing because it's really strong damage-wise, the magic addiction one. So yeah, like uh, for example, Igniter Sork use the high one. Uh, Gunslinger use the high mana one. Lance Master use the low one. Uh, uh, Swift Artillery use the low one. Piano Reflux Sword use the bottom one. Etc. Etc. It depends basically. Both of them are really strong buff. So yeah. That's basically how it goes right there. But yeah, that's like a nightmare set right here. One of the strongest set in the game. And I heard some people say that like, you know, nightmare set is so bad, man. <laughs> I don't know. It is what it is, man. Yeah, ding dong, <laughs> nightmare set over. Okay, welcome back, dream, welcome back. Okay, let's go. Need to assume later. How many legendary engraving do I have? Two, class and grudge. Do you think salvation nightmare is better for gunslinger? I think nightmare is better. I think it's just more consistent. I mean, like you can run salvation with like uh, the new build and everything, with no swiftness right there. But then uh, I mean, like, what do you think about no swiftness gunslinger? I mean, if you can make use of it, then probably yeah. But even then, I feel like, you know, they, their effective damage, like, when it comes to, like, uh, the actual, like, uh, fight itself will be very similar anyway. To the point that it's not really worth the trouble. Floor. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, like, it's, no, it's zero swiftness uh, gunslinger. So you can check out that one if you want to. You can try it out. You can, you can, you can. But yeah, it's stronger in simulation, but in simulation. So there is that. Which is like uh, not necessarily like uh, always true. The casting is already slow AF. Well, the casting is not really the problem because you make it up with like uh, what's the name, with your uh, with your salvation. The salvation does give you like some like attack speed. Only some though. Is Volton do dark damage? The, uh, the magical attacks, yeah. If you get smacked in the face with the axe, then that's physical. So yeah, there is nothing about dark damage there. Only the magical attack one. 
There's time to hunt guys here. Still run nightmare salvation. Uh, they still run nightmare. They still run nightmare. They don't run salvation to begin with. The reason why you run salvation is because you're forced to, Silen. That's why. Because like you can run fu uh, full spec to increase your sniper damage. Because your sniper now is better because the catastrophe is like as as much as like perfection damage, right? That's why you run full spec. But then you're so slow, like an idiot basically. That's why you run salvation, which is weaker than nightmare. Because salvation gives you the 10% attack speed, so it's more manageable. But salvation doesn't give you cooldown reduction. It's just attack speed. So it's just comfy right there. So nightmare is actually stronger. But that's basically how like uh, the new build works. This new build you're talking about a different one the, the from the new 7M. No, it's just 7M build with the 7th skill. 7M because 7th skill. You run like you know the the five skill right, uh, the four skill, dual back shot, focus shot, uh, sharp shooter, and target down. Right? Then you add like uh, what's the name? Uh, what's the other skill? Oh, perfect shot as the fifth one right there. You put catastrophe six six one, and then you put bullet uh, bullet rain for the seventh one. So yeah, spec buffs all of this because your pistol skill gets like critical damage as well. That's the build right there. You run salvation with that because you have no you have no swiftness, and then like uh, to make it manageable at least to make it realistic, you run salvation. Even though salvation is weaker, but it gives you ten percent speed. I mean, you can run Nightmare with that, and that's probably gonna be stronger, except it's zero swiftness fully. <laughs> Moonstar Reaper is the one which is super skill and stay in the uh, stay in the red one. Uh, what? Moon Sound Reaper is the one that uses red skill to burst. Uh, Thirst is the one that stays on red uh, gauge. Seems like Ender Reset makes uh, Kin Blood a bit worse. You are correct. Just go crystal, pretty much, yeah. If you're like running like a back attack class with entropy, Kin Blunt becomes your last priority. Because like it's less efficient. You need like about like 70 to like 80% critical rate, basically, 70% to basically effectively use it as well. Gunslinger Toss, Nightmare, Spirit Observer. Why so many different server? Gold farming. Gotta plant the seed everywhere. Are you able to use seven skill before other gets off cooldown with the CD reduction from Nightmare? What? You don't run you don't play the CD reduction on like a nightmare. You play on the like uh, the damage increase, the multiplicative damage increase for like a uh, nightmare. So yeah, your cooldown is too long to basically like lower your uh, to maintain a low mana like a uh, low mana like nightmare. And even if like your cool your cooldown is fast enough, your animation lock is too long anyway that you will recover your mana. So no, you play around the high mana. Bitcoin farm, yeah, just to buy your mom Karen man. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, well, that's Gunslinger right there. The Gunslinger and the new build right there. Then explained bad, but knowing about it, thought the red gauge was better, but uh, didn't know it was Thirst or Moon. Nah, Moon is actually better because of burst potential. They're about similar, except Thirst is consistent damage, while Moon is burst. Burst means you can burst together with everyone under like a. Uh, under Bards like Puff, under like a uh, Red Dust, under everything basically. What is the Relic set that suddenly makes DPS support viable? Nothing. This guy is a mother here. <laughs> Nothing, nothing. It's a parallel like that makes DPS bar semi viable. Mm, nope. I mean, if you wanna call like doing half the damage of like a DPS class viable, then semi viable, then yeah, it's the fascination set, the charming set. So, there is that. But uh, do you call it viable? Uh, no. I wouldn't say so. But if you think it's viable, sure, go ahead. <laughs> so, just usual misinformation is the usual, yeah. Same shit, different day, man. After Vicus release, do you just chill to Nightmare to Salvation Beast for Gunslinger? After Vicus release, go to go full Nightmare or full Salvation if you're running the, the 7M build. Do you think the new build with the same stat as the old build still okay? For what class is this? Why we don't craft Relic Weapon? Because Relic Weapon takes longer and Relic Weapon can make you weaker. Unless you're a whale. Are you though? If you get whale 100 quality and 25 weapon right away, go ahead, yeah. But I mean like, why would you... RNG it when you can get a guaranteed damage increase. So yeah, still playing as Eric with Striker. Don't think we will change to Search only for PvP. What? What do you mean? Don't know what you mean by that. <laughs> for Reflux Sorg, if they stay for the 15 for Beast to Argos crit rate, okay. Yes, they're fine. Just craft my relic part with zero quality. Great. Is that like an armor? At least it's armor. Armor zero quality is fine. Weapon zero quality, you're weaker than legendary. <laughs> 
full martial artist class scrapper main war striker uh, graver as a sword why no solfice because it sucks i don't know i think you just suck at solfice but that's fine i guess a lot of people do <laughs> gunslinger since we are talking about the new gunslinger build playing the new build with the same stats as the old build still okay still okay yeah would, would basically yield similar damage on that one 7M build with Nightmare would be better. Yeah, with zero swiftness, I guess, yeah. But then, like, you're so slow. <laughs> you're super slow. <laughs> zero swiftness with everything. People run Salvation to make it manageable with the 10% attack speed. But you don't even have that now if you're running Nightmare. So, yeah, if you have the old stats, 500 swiftness, 500 spec, that would be, like, that would yield, like, similar damage. Like, it's such, like, a small optimization, basically. But if you just run 50, 25, 25 crit spec swift, that's what you normally do most... That's what you normally do before. That's your old nightmare build. That's your old nightmare build. What do you mean? <laughs> How does like Cobrain only self shooter running hallucination and not running out of mana? Uh, eating food. So yeah, death blow. Don't know why I was I'm thinking blade. Okay, so I forgot like what you said then. Really don't like playing with a uh, SRF shotgun rapid fire. Then you can run like catastrophe and like uh, what's the name? Uh, bullet train. I mean, I don't like bullet train. So I would rather run with like shotgun rapid fire and like a catastrophe. Both of them would be good anyway. But yeah, you can interchangeable. It's interchangeable if you have the old build basically. <laughs> Direct gameplay service no martial artist is a mage. Well, I mean like uh, I don't know. That's a gameplay thing, not like the solve is sucks right there. Entropy before salvation or after? After. Do you agree with the current tier list? Exclamation tier list. My friend was solve in Argos and MVP every fight. Solve is good when it's uh, done properly. Does 2 demon beast set stronger than 5 Argos set? Yes. How much engraving points do action accessories give? 6-3. Don't like a uh, bullet rain either. Yep. I would rather run with shotgun rapid fire and uh, what's the name? Catastrophe. Is it worth buying rapport selection gift? Uh, not for me. But you can buy it if you want to. Who would you prefer for peacemaker? Do you think it's better for a change? Nah, I would rather like run like full nightmare as the usual with like the usual stats as well. But then I would run catastrophe and shot shotgun rapid fire because I don't like bullet rain. So yeah, played with uh, quite a few EOS always. Yeah. 